welcome back to my first time playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. Both the main missions that we play in today's episode give me the ick at times, but I hope that makes it interesting for you to watch and you're not too off put by some of the themes in the game today. But I won't waste any of your time. I'll let non-voiceover Mezo tell you about what those missions are. Oh, Ruth, I missed your voice. So I have two major plans right now uh, for what we're gonna do today. The first one is, I wanna start playing Judy's missions. We've... Huh, there's a bomb somewhere. I wanted to start playing Judy's missions. We've been playing Pan Ams and um, just because Judy is one of our rom romance part, I don't know, whatever. She plays a major part in this game and I need to know more about her at this point. We've only talked to her like twice. The other thing that I am thinking about doing is starting, um, or what? Doing a side gig called Sinner Man. I need to keep up with my side gigs, and that's one that some people have said is interesting. So I would like to see if I can do that. The other thing that I'm doing right now, you may be asking yourself, where are you going? Why are you running? when you could drive is because I heard that there's just like a weird random encounter out here on this pier. So I'm just gonna see if I see anything or anyone. And if not, that's fine. I'll just drive my bike off the end of the pier. Uh, and Odin says, why are you running? Why are you crying? Girl, what is it? It's a secret mission. Just kidding, it's not really secret, but I don't know, it's unmarked apparently. I really like this jacket. I wish that we could get this. It doesn't, uh, there's nothing that I can actually do with this lady. I can't talk to her or anything right now, but this um, this marker shows up when you get close enough to her, I think. Maybe not. Oh, it's it's on the map. Okay, you can... Oh, God. You can see it on the map. There's... Let me just get a breath of air. Yeah! And then we'll dive down. We'll get the key. Go back up. Because she, she can't swim, so we have to help her. Oh, this is cool. There's a, there's lights on the side of this. So if you fall in the river at night, you can uh, find your way to escape. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, so now we know her name, Angie. There you go. Here's your key. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, we got $1,000 now. I guess maybe I should have looked at the key to see if there was anything I could unlock with it instead of giving it back to her. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Just in case someone, like, hadn't found that already. That's where that side mission is. That is very insignificant, I guess, but interesting nonetheless. So now that we've done that little mission... I think I'm going to start with Sinner Man. Sit and wait for Bill Jablonski. You're right about one thing. This job from Wakako stinks to high heaven. Oh yeah, that's right. Wakako gave this to us. Besides, you're above doing plain old hit jobs. Probably no harm in talking to Bill Jablonski and seeing what his deal is. But if I were you, I'd take a hard pass. Okay, so they're kind of telling me to talk to him, but kind of not. They're saying, make up your own mind, gamer. All right, wait for Bill Jablonski. It's interesting because we saw his dead wife's grave, I'm fairly certain. Unless Here it's a, we are. a different Jablonski. Yes, I just gotta wait. Could be his daughter, maybe. Oh. Okay, sometime later.
Job updated. Sinner man. Huh? Oh. Bill Jablonski. Mm. Did Okada give you the details? Have I been saying her name wrong this whole time? Is it, it's Okada? I've been saying, oh, that's her first name. That's her first name. Didn't go into a whole lot of detail, no. Joshua Stevenson. You and me are gonna give that murdering fuck what he deserves. I'll tell you more inside. Get in, you're driving. What? God damn it. I think maybe you want me to kill you while we're at this. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. Okay. I wanna see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa, why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Plan sounds half-baked. Honestly, don't like it. What's that supposed to mean? First up, don't execute in public. Don't need an audience. Second, they could get away. You don't get it. I spent my life savings on this. That's them! Step on it! Oh, I can't drive. Okay, now I can drive. <gasps> oh, God. Stay on him! Don't let him get away! Okay. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh my god, get the out of the way! Why? You son of a biscuit! Oh my god, get out of the way! <laughs> what the hell is with all of these cars pulling out in front of me while I'm trying to chase an officer of the law? Can't lose him. Oh my god, damn it. I'm turning this beast around! No, <laughs> we're gonna lose them. Uh, Fuck. I think we're maybe we're supposed to lose them at this point. Oh my god. This is when I wish I had a controller, I guess. Oh my god. I, I can't. Oh, I'm so sweaty already. <laughs> How did they not get away? Oh, I think they paused Stop the for damn us. Car! This is it. Let's go. Okay. Stay close. I'm going to blow the motherfucker to bits myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking kill him! Okay. NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Stop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the girl, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right. Let's just all shoot holes in each other. For crying out loud. Fuck! We can't leave her here. Media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD! Stay where you are! And get that goddamn semi out of here! We take her with us. What? Olga, we've got a situation. What the hell? Somebody just tried to drop our star. That psycho's a okay, professional. I feel like I should have just killed all of these people. Because he's a fucking but Gregor, that's I don't know. What's happening, happening oh here? I don't have much time. Uh, yeah. One cash. You want me to come, Bill to come with you? No priors. But run a deep sweep just to be <laughs> I sure. I need you. What? You're out of your fucking Thanks. mind. Oh, God. I don't no think I did the right thing. And stay off the frequencies, too. Don't make me ruin your career. Nobody, and I mean this nobody, will harm a hair on your mess. head. You I'm just uh, dickhead. borrowing listen. you. Should have fucking listened. We're clear to go. Can you Boys shut the up? up here. I can't hear what this dude's saying. What the hell is this? 
What's your name? Well, I don't want to tell him. Can you tell me what the hell's going on? Look, I can explain. Just don't go. I I need you. It's okay. You don't need to tell me. My name is Joshua Stevenson. And your associate? What was his name? Um, Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell. Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take her. Out of the question. She's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give her a job. Ew. <sighs> what? Okay, what's like Finally, that? something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. Well, Johnny's on board, so that makes me not want to do it. Um... Gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time, Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object, strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. Okay, I guess Johnny's spoken. Let's get in. All right, I'll go with you. Uh, move it! We're running late! Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Shit. Is he gonna convert me? I'm gonna say... Me? Fuck. The hell possessed me to get in. <laughs> Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery and other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before I... <clears throat> Frozen in time. God, give me strength to never forget. Uh, still don't get why you're telling me this. I want you to wait, understand. I didn't tell him our I name. About to do. He shouldn't be saying um. Spill be already. Oh wait. We, what do you want from me? Stay with me for the day, and I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me. With what money? Not mine. The studios, and the studio will pay. You know, still got that contract to kill you. What's to stop me from fulfilling? Me. One strange twitch, I kill you. Hey, there's no reason to upset Vasquez. Your fixer will get what they want. I'll make sure of it. How you figure that? Trust me. Everyone will be satisfied. I guarantee it. Still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and Vasquez, talk to Vasquez, keep an me. eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the That's car. It. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. You don't like Rachel? She's got the gift of the gab, surely. I'm merely a springboard for her career. <laughs> a high value asset. You're the one I want to talk to. Just till the end of the day? Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong. I'm out. No one will force you to stay. There's a light that never goes out. So I guess this is Zuleika. part two. You're late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? She is Everything you spoke of. V. Wait. Meet Zuleka. 
am I fulfilling a prophecy or something? Wouldn't mind knowing what's going on here. Anyone? You haven't told her anything? <laughs> we just met. There wasn't time. You really are insane. Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Oh my. That's the guy that brought us here? What else is in here? Okay, looks looks harmless enough. I don't know. Uh, what's this? I'm just trying to see if I can find out anything else about what's going on. I wish that I had had more... I skipped over the extra dialogue with Jablonski and now I'm really regretting that because I wanted to hear more backstory, but I just saw the um, cool response and I just clicked on it because I was like, oh yeah. And then I couldn't say anything else. So, Anaphora of Saint Cyril of Alexandria. We pray and beg for thy mercy, friend of man. Do not sentence us to eternal damnation, nor abandon those who are at your service, nor banish us from your sight, nor tell us you do not know our faces. Fill our hearts with blessed water. Grant us a well for our tears so that we may weep for our sins at thy feet. For we are the humble servants that graze in thy pasture. Wipe away our misdeeds and forgive us our trespasses, whether committed willingly or unwillingly, consciously or unconsciously, in the shadows or in the daylight, long forgotten or relinquished from our memory, for only thy holy name remains. Hear the pleas of thy people, look upon the suffering of thy servants, do not permit my sins or the impurities of my own heart, lead thee to harden the hearts of others against the Holy Spirit. All right. So a bunch of Please, sit down. Bible thumpers. Can I offer you anything? A drink? Uh, I think I'm good. I'm good, thanks. I don't want to drink the Kool-Aid, so to speak. <laughs> the same picture there. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. You're the reason Joshua found redemption? It was her letter that started everything. I lost a brother. God gave me another. Okay. <sighs> Not every day you run into a true believer in Night I don't City. know if I'm picking the right It was Providence responses. that brought you under my roof. We met because of him. Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? Why are we even talking about this? Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no. I hate the way he talks. I never agreed to anything like this. Nah, religious debates, not my thing. There is nothing to debate. Those BD studio hyenas Convince Joshua to trade one execution for another. His own crucifixion. He wants everyone to experience his agony. Feel his pain and suffering. Wait. What? Why the brain dance? What's what is... in it for you? Zuleika transformed Wait, me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. 
It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. Hmm. And think of paid killers like you, V. Okay. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Do I have to answer that? Mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? This who we've been waiting for? Yes. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, now! Just go, please. Out, all of you! <laughs> we should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar. Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child, my son. Let's go back to the car. All right, let's get back in the vehicle with this insane man. I'm surprised that they weren't filming that. I feel like... Just wish I could have talked to Gloria and explained everything. Oh. Somehow I thought... I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Are you disappointed? Time to grab a bite to eat. Where are we going to eat? Who could blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. <sighs> really aim to spin a virtue of your crucifixion? Ugh, yes, really. You'll be kicking up a shitstorm. Hater's gonna hate. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing <gasps> will. Johnny. Oh, I thought Johnny would have something to say about that. About waking us all up from our collective nightmare and whatever society needs a... Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. I'm not a stowaway. I was invited. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? I think you're f***ing weird. I'm gonna say he needs help. He's got some organic chips loose. Needs psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Think he might be more self-possessed than you think. Look, you're no shrink and neither am I. We're both just out to get paid. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. What? Why? I wish that Johnny what could say more. For? My answer's no. 
Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty merc off the streets. Who, me or her? Oh, me. Okay. What's going on here? Corpo like that annoy the fun of me. Joshua deserves our support. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny answer. Uh, let's ask what's going on. Grown curious how this will all end. In pain and profit, that's how. One's sacred, the other's insane. Though who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before. Pies. Mm -mm. I would love to have some pizza before an old, good old crucifixion. Okay. In we go. Mm -mm. What kind of slice am I going to get? kind of dirtbag in this city. This Jesus shit ain't fooling me. You even think about making a break for it. Your ass is going down. I'm with this guy. Nobody's paying you to open your mouth, Vasquez. I'm with Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so many men. Uh... Vasquez. He blew inside and out. Might as well have been born with a badge. Must have Ouch. some solid dirt on him, then. And the studio majority stakeholders a corp. Unlike you, Vasquez would clearly mind having enemies in high places. Is this this man's final meal? Can we please talk about something besides faith? Josh, your night. Topic of choice. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I spent years not talking to anyone. Okay, nothing hard. What do you do to relax? Uh... <laughs> Uh, let's see. I, I, I read scripture. Uh, I watch brain dances and movies. Uh, did you hear about the remake of Badlands Raid? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, kicks the original's ass. Trust me. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Off already. What do you do to relax? Relax, Rachel. Yes, why, I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. I hate his voice. Great to have an outlet. Something to give you peace of mind. True peace of mind can only come through the spirit of divine grace. Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Uh. Oh, I'll tell her why. Exactly why. No, I, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel... No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. I'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Yep, good luck with your performance. Props. Really well played, Dad. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen, but it's still corporate exploitation. Mm. Don't even feel sorry for him, in the least. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? Seem to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind. What? Which is it, nut job or messiah? 
He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. Mm, all right, so you think God exists? What do you think? God exists? Fuck, kill me, please. Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. A uh, construct's not a soul, it's... Oh, I died and I rose again? Can't deny that. I want to say that just because it's funny. Truth is, I died and rose again. Plain and simple. Uh-huh, so what was that? A miracle? What's it make you? A messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? Oh, I have no fucking idea what it was, and neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. Hmm? One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and Wow, this is you. a lot of dog you dialogue. You dropped your knees before gods. I drop them. Pop them right between the eyes. Okay, interesting. So he's like, yeah, Jeff Bezos type figures, those are gods. And I kill titans. I think that's what he's saying. Gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche? Possible consequences thereof. Really. I mean, are you already dead? Or alive till the last existing digighost of you is shredded? Meaning like, am I gonna ascend to digi heaven? Descent to digi hell's more likely, but yeah. If there is life after death, is Silverhand already living the afterlife? Meaning I'm talking to his animated epitaph? I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise. To me, I'm just that. Me. No netherworld, no happy wonder world, just duped digital psyches. Oh, weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. There's a light that never goes out. End of the job. So the next thing that I wanted to do tonight was, if I've learned one thing from Joy Houses, it's to quit while the going's good. Stare at those fake smiles too long and all you'll see is misery. As far as clubs go, they're all pretty pathetic, but at least it's in their own way. At least they're unique. You know, the chances of finding Evelyn are close to zilch, right? Like, that's gonna change your mind. Anyway, let's go pay a visit to the so-called fingers. But if we don't find Parker, you owe me a drink. So we have to call Judy to start this quest. B, you called. <laughs> that's right, girl. I promised. Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing. Keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, V. Uh -huh. Okay, that's right. It's all coming yeah. back to me now. Okay. We went to clouds. We talked right, to that then. really gross dude no, that said that he offloaded cloudy. her to fingers. Um, mm -hmm. So, <laughs> that's what we have to look forward to to talk to them about. PP. <laughs> what the hell kind of a name is that? What is this? There's something there on the wall. Oh, it's a. <laughs> I don't know what I thought it was going to be. Something special. 
Well, well, what do we got here? And you just the cutest thing. Who, if you're me? looking for a release, I just might be your man. No thanks, my girl's inside. Uh looking for a ripper duck. Goes by fingers. Nowhere I can find him. Not from around here. Couldn't find another ripper in the city to patch you up. Her Are fingers you... was the best. Yeah. The best for joy girls. Are you a whore? No, but you are. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that. Nah, why is this guy trying to block his bag? No, but you are, from the look of things. Yo, you hear what this bitch said to me? Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but I'm ready for you. Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. Smooth brain. Apologize for that bitch. Oh, I hurt your fifis. Got to be worth a damn to get an apology from me. And you're trash. Not worth shit. Nobody talks that way to little loco. Little loco? Whoa, that's right. You get I'm going to beat you with my fists. Oh crap, I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't want to die to this Oh man. Oh man. All right. Skippy. <sighs> I don't even know how the other guy died. Remember, Skippy only... No headshots, only extra extremities. So hopefully... Hit him where it counts, if you know what I mean. No, no, I'd, I'd rather live here. Just don't turn off the lights. Summer means rain. Means I have to sit in the basement the whole time. Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left the shredded cables and empty bottles. Okay. He's under the influence of drugs. I thought maybe he was an experiment. Oh, gracious creature and, and benign! Who, who, who goes visiting to this element obscure? Us, who the world with, with, with bloody stain imbrued for a friend, the king of all we owned. Is she I'm dead? Of him, shut for thy peace! Arise! Sounds like paradise. This is scary. So she's dead, I think, because I could pick up her body. Oh no. What the hell? Hey, hands off her. Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on this shit. You got a financial claim? Take it to court. Oh, never mind. This is the out of doors. I thought I was supposed to break in to help who, whoever was talking. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. You Hope can... that teaches those candy-ass scopsuckers hey. not to come around here no more. Oh, that was Hello? Judy talking. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, oh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like, his hand sometimes slips. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. 
You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? <laughs> you knew where she because was. Because I am really Spring into smart. action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. I have intelligence 10. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. All right, well, I guess I got to talk to these bichas. Or read a sexy novel. Crime block. That doesn't sound sexy, but it could be. <laughs> could be a surprise. McCrane scanned the room with a deft Karoshi sweep. The corpse was no different than the dozens he'd seen. Oh, is it a noir? The dead man's eyes frozen in fear. His ligaments, wires, and intestines strewn on the floor. Cyber psycho. Came in through the window. Victim left him inside. Must have known each other. Prints all over the glass. Holy shit! Malowski shook his head in disbelief. How'd the fucker get away? Uh, uh way up on the 11th floor. <laughs> I'm an idiot. See those grooves in the windowsill? Climbing spikes. Implants. Kinds the kids these days. Getting installed to pull stupid stunts. Get cheap thrills. Milanowski made his way over to the window to examine the evidence his superior had so effortlessly pieced together. The veteran detective lit a cigarette and stared back into the corpse's lifeless eyes. Although McCrane had never seen uh, this man before, he felt as if he'd known him uh, for a long time. And still, he felt nothing for him. No pity, no compassion. Suddenly, Milanowski's unsteady voice woke McCrane from his thoughts. Uh, boss, these prints on the outside of the window, they belong to you. <gasps> McCrane let out a quick, punctuated chuckle. Never took you for much of a jokester, Milanowski. The detective said with an amused smirk, Oh, I thought I was going to murder Milanowski as he rolled up his sleeves to expose his wrists. And I wonder, just how would I get there without any climbing claws? Hmm? But before his junior inspector could respond, McCrane felt an uneasiness shoot up his spine. This room, this man, the smell of blood. He felt compelled to walk over to savage the victim and reach inside his pocket a photo. His own face staring back at him. Milanowski slowly drew his pistol. I believed in you. Is that the voice I was using for him? The shaken protege uttered with a pain with pain in his voice. All this time, I idolized a, a murderer. <laughs> I don't understand, muttered McCrane, scarcely loud enough to hear his own voice. So, why am I reading it like this? This is never going to make the YouTube cut. <laughs> Something else began to drown out his words, even his thoughts a strange primal force. For the first time in my life, I don't understand. And then, crack, a gunshot. Reading with Mezo. Million dollar idea. How about someone ghostwrite my book, uh, book for me and then I'll just read it out loud and I'll learn things about myself along the way, one assumes. All right. Well, if you're into mannequins, I've found the locale for you. Mm. I have to sit with them? You seen a girl with blue hair here? You seen a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. Okay, I could fight them. Oh, my friend here's in really bad shape. Could we cut in front? My friend here, she's in really sorry shape. Couldn't let us cut in front just this once? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> of course. Honey, pick my guest. Well, now, hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to open those lips. Come on, lips let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Who said that? How about now? Better. Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. 
faceplate's previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Okay, we're just listening your to a complete down. Just... We going in? Eventually. He sounds sleepy. Yes, hello. What oh, can I do for you? Oh, the hand sanitizer thing. Oh, I thought he had a rash. Like me. <laughs> no, not like me. I have psoriasis. I was like, oh, a fellow psoriasis plagued person. But I don't want to have anything in common with Something this man. Wrong? Uh. Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. <laughs> flap. I'm busy right now. You tiger claws. Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Uh, I, I... <sighs> These girls know your chip and faulty implants. You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? What do you two want? Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one, even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Wow, this guy's weird. I thought that there was a, a unique weapon on his bed, and I was just going to try and pick it up before I beat him to death. Um, but maybe it needs to unlock. What about your logs? Gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this, you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip, best oh, brain shit. dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state of the art facility. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Uh... Jude, calm down, okay? You're not helping. Let me do the talking. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. Where will we find her? I like you. <laughs> You're frisky. Intrepid. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. 
Okay, who's that? Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? We're Kako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand oh? off. Wakako? Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. Ooh, I wouldn't get so close to him. He's probably s smells kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> Judy. Uh, Can't let's end this fucking circus. Guys, what did they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They looked like you. They looked like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. <gasps> Need air. I'll be outside. She, uh, overdid it a bit. Timber's been running high lately. Yes, well, you're a far more reasonable beast. Prettier, too. Job complete. The space in between. Let's just see this item that we picked up. So I think we got through that disassociating just fine. <laughs> I really hope that Judy's not upset with us, though, because we tried to play good cop there. Well, we have this cotton mouth blunt weapon, one-handed club. Is its, it, is its designation another iconic piece of weaponry? Let's see, it's electric damage, chemical damage, poison chance, and shock chance. Electrically charged and tipped with venom. Its description says, many are quick to underestimate people who use a cane. Use that. All right, well, it's not really good looking or anything. That's crazy. So I did all that just so that I could come back here and maybe buy something from him, support him. Maybe, like, someday we can just murder him. The world as will and idea. But besides all this, death is a great opportunity. No longer to be I to him who uses it. During life, the will of man is without freedom. His actions take place with necessity upon the basis of his unalterable character in the chain of motives. Okay, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but just reading that opening sentence sounds like a piece of literature from the cyberpunk genre. But everyone remembers much that he has done and on account of which he is by no means satisfied with himself. If now he were to go on living, he would go on acting in the same way on account of the unalterable nature of his character. Accordingly, he must cease to be what he is in order to be able to arise out of the germ of his nature as a new and different being. Therefore, death loses those bounds. The will again becomes free, for freedom lies in the esse, not the operari. Okay, actually, I'm not sure if it's from a cyberpunk genre. Just that opening sentence about man maybe not having free will. I was like, oh, cyberpunk. But I don't know. The rest of this, who knows? Not me. <laughs> Someone out there does. Someone you in the comments, in the chat knows. I want free will. I would like the illusion of free will, please. Okay, let's um, leave. Let's talk to Judy. Let's hope that whatever we said to Let fingers- Let go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. And you two got along swimmingly, didn't you? Exchange numbers too. Two birds of a fucking feather. Okay, wow. Someone out there really wants the dialogue option, fingers isn't that bad. 
What if this is like one of those switcheroo responses where you say it and then they actually say, oh, fingers isn't that bad. I only want to decapitate him and make his decapitated head eat a pile of dog shit or something like that. Let's say... Losing our cool won't do us any favors. It's a waste of time. Oh, I'm cool. Real fucking cool with the fact that Ev's probably already dead. You don't know that. And I'm sure as hell not going to squander precious minutes we could spend looking. Fee, don't yell at her. What the heck? Only Lee, we got some XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, Market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction in one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Her eyes are so big. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Okay, it sounds gross, but I'll do it. Let me think for a sec. Uh, let's give the dark net a shot. I know a local fixer. We could say this. Think I'll try calling Wakako. Fixer fingers mentioned. Thought of an angle to run on her? Why would I need one? Even if she knows the studio's location, she's not gonna spill. Be putting her neck on the line. <sighs> okay. I'm buying the brain dance. We can analyze. Play detective. Fine. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Okay, let me just talk to Wakako really quick. How's things, Wako? This a prelude to whatever illegal favor you're about to ask me? What? Never. In that <laughs> case, they couldn't be better. Kind of you to ask. And you? Looking for a brain dance. Oh, any particular one? Logo on the casing? A death's head moth. Whoa, now. That's quicksand. So I would advise caution. It, uh, it just registered what a death's head moth is in my brain. Is it the, uh, the moth from Silence of the Lambs? I'm pretty sure, right? It just registered that that could be what it is. That's what I'm picturing now anyways. So that was my wide-eyed gaze in case you were wondering. Oh, what is she gasping about now? Know who makes them? Where they scroll them. And do you know what a fixer does? Allow me to explain. Not only do I finalize transactions, I can accomplish the goddamn impossible. Which would be... Making sure the buyer, supplier, and ever-neglected intermediary not only keep their heads in the games, but keep their heads, period. So don't you ever ask me who, with whom, where, when, why, or how. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's on us. We shouldn't have asked. Can you get me one of those recordings? No, but I have a pretty good idea who can. Who'd that be? There's a store on Jig Jig Street. It has a Pandora's box worth of crap inside. What the Try hell is asking that? the owner. Thanks, Wako. I thought that she was like levitating something over to me. What the hell was that? Did you see that? 
Oh, it must, she must have had a phone in her hand and it wasn't quite, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe it was a shard. I'm looking for something raw, untouched. Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? Want something that'll floor me, really scramble the neurons. We've got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootouts, black ops, interrogations, amputations. No, 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 no. I mean, something like, well, you know. Fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? What does he mean? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? I want to know what it's like <gasps> to, to kill. I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. Okay, How they cut you? they cut him off. You're buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? Oh, you saw that? I thought that you were a dumb NPC and you couldn't tell that I was just standing there listening to you. Uh what you selling? Okay, let's just get to the chase. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? I mean, I have to do the corporal response just because I would like to experience that. If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs for what you sold the customer before me. Oh. All right, all right. That's Can't true. be too careful. What do you want? Technically, you didn't Give sell it. Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Oh, I can be cool and get a discount. <laughs> That sucks. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Okay, well, I can't help how tall I am, dude. Where do you get these scrolls? Said you weren't a pig. Just curious, that's all. Once you booted up your virtue, dare say your curiosity will be satisfied. People that make these, <laughs> obsessed with privacy. Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution, I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. Um, I'm no connoisseur, trust me. Huh, <laughs> sure. All what I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies, you can pick one, parse it, and I won't care a hair. Got anything that might interest me? Okay, I'm really gonna buy this. Oh, 350? That ain't nothing. <laughs> Acid bath deleted scenes. Oh, the hardest disc? No arms, no Oh my goodness. I guess I shouldn't read these out loud. Let me just jog my memory what we need to do next. Okay, meet Judy at the van. No problem. I can do that. I feel bad leaving Judy in a vehicle by herself. I feel like in Night City, that's risky business. Hi, Judy. Oh, wait. Hop in. You're driving. Thank God. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old oh, one shit. too. Wait. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm nervous for this. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something I miss. Okay. I hope I don't have to say anything gross out loud. I don't remember how this works at all. V, editing mode's good to go. Dig around all you want. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Okay. Okay, I cannot remember how this works. Frick. Uh. Oh, Q to rewind. 
Like maybe there's something that I can see out here. Ordered recently. Oh, can I look at it? What is it? Eh. Oh crap, I lost my and who's Scat this? woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs. Anything that I can look at outside? No. Gosh, this is scary. I don't... I didn't realize that this would be so dark. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Roger's logo. Standard for a trash heap. Okay, that's it for us to view here. So I will continue to play... The BD. Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Okay, I'm trying not to look. I'm scared. Huh. Okay, that's it. That's all we need to look at. Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Coffee was cold. Like from the day before. Pizza looked fresh though. So? Means someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly, which is not something one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. Okay. We're looking for an electric corp power plant located near a buck a slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Buck a slice chicks out too. How can you be sure though? You mean how can I be sure? Can we just look? Wait, it says exit the brain dance when you're ready. Can we just leave? Here we go. Old Electric Corp power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to garner from this school. I didn't want to watch anymore. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Okay. Let's get going. On our way. She has a dolphin tattoo? Okay. For a dolphin tattoo, that looks pretty sick. If you have a dol dolphin tattoo... Still can't shake it. I really hope that you didn't that take that That virtue as an sample insult. we saw with the death said moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gonks to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Okay, that was weird. For a second I thought something else was happening. Um, someone, some people in chat the other day were saying that they don't like their brown eyes, that brown eyes are not uh, cool. Me? Like, Judy has brown eyes, right? Her eyes are so dark and pretty. I don't understand why people say that about people with brown eyes. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So, if you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. Also Pan Am. Like, what the heck? Wait, does Pan Am have brown eyes? <laughs> I guess I'm a bad lover. All right, 
Going in. Job updated. Disaster piece. Okay. And I'm gonna save here. Just because I feel like if I don't hard save every so often, the game gets a little funky. It crashes sometimes. When I'm playing by myself. Typically I remember... Um... Okay, I suppose I should be looking around for cameras and stuff. Ah, a door. Oh, turn on? So it's off. Ooh. There's someone out there. <laughs> Maybe I should... Reach the main building. Okay. Okay. Oops, wait. <laughs> Crouch. Okay, let's up these boys here. Oh, whoops. I didn't think about this. That's okay. <laughs> I forgot. We can install two different things now. Uh, reduces the quick hack hack cost and mass vulnerability. We have those two things now. If you find chips, grab them for me, Mezo. Okay, I'll look for some for you. Odin can't say that I'll find any in this BD den, but sure, I'll get you BD den chips. You can count on me. All right. A little bitty contagion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I missed some Heard shots. You still alive? I'm here. Oh, Got no time was to I not around. supposed to shoot them? <laughs> You're telling me I wasn't supposed to kill them? Who ordered ass fucking? Ass fucking? <laughs> not me. It was you! Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to... I guess maybe I wasn't supposed to kill them. Now I feel bad. Okay, well, I guess we'll go down there. Premature discharge. I'm sorry. This never happens. Oh, there's a lot of people in there. Oh, please. Oopsies. Oh, God, dang it. Like, right? We're supposed to kill all the people holding Evelyn hostage. They don't, that just makes sense. Ah. <gasps> oh, I can blow her up. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a okay, way to the lower levels. I'm just clearing the place for you. Don't worry, Judy. Okay. Oh, there's another camera, maybe? I think it was outside. I could just imagine being a loser like these people. <laughs> okay, wait. I wasn't done with my sentence. I can imagine being these losers just watching, like, from a, a, a comm station or something, all their cameras go dark as we approach to Avenge Evelyn or whatever. Okay, I know Judy said go to the lower levels. <laughs> We're gonna do that. I just needed to see if there was anything up here to loot. There's no camera behind me, right? I increased the 
I don't know what you what you call it. The periphery? I increased our periphery to 110%. Or not percent, to 110. I th I don't know if it's by percentage. Found a way down. I, you see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Now I feel like my mouse doesn't turn as much as I need it to. Get to level one. Okay, and then I think we need to I'm wait. Here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Hear that? No, I don't hear anything. That shirt. I know it. Keep donors sedated. Evelyn's? Without a doubt. Shit. Do I see anybody? We don't have enough methionine for healing. Relax. Oh shit, should I not have done that? <coughs> Just stay back, Judy. Just stay back, okay? I got this. Decapitation. Oh man, I can't see them. Judy's just gonna get him. <laughs> oh god. Can't. Got her! Fun fact bloodstains can be removed using one easy trick and vinegar. And Finnick, what? Dude. No! Get no? information! God damn it. Where the fuck are they? Oh, here. Ouch. Mm, yeah. Stop! Don't stop. Take them out quick. Oh, crap. I was gonna. God, this is a mess. Judy, don't come out here. God damn it. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, I wanted to go back and God damn it, shut up camera. I wanted to tap into this. Oh shit. Okay, hopefully the local it's network. Not we did it. Oh, we did it, I guess. I feel like there's still people out there. I swear I hear those dumb people's voices. Hello! Where are you? Looks like snuffs are only the tip of the iceberg. Smells like purple methionine. Must be cooking RPM here. RPM. Used to sprinkle it on my breakfast. Delish? Uh, he must really be a rock star. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. <laughs> I am the bad guy. <laughs> what, what's that? I call out and you come here to shoot me. <laughs> I just can't get over how loud and obnoxious <laughs> they sound. I don't know why it entertains me so much. I know it's simple. I know it's simple. Lead Judy through the sub levels. <gasps> okay, careful. Hello. Okay, <laughs> shut, shut up. You are. Oh my God, he's dead. No. Oh, on air. What? Get out of sight. I won't hurt you. 
Okay. They say on air. Hmm. Oh my god, I always click the wrong thing. I just need to change the buttons for jacking in versus... Uh, what? Surveillance system. Offline. Remote takeover. Yes. Careful, they heard something. Oh! Okay, I'll leave. How do I leave? Here, this way. This way. Okay, I panicked. Enemies have been alerted. Oh no! Oh, he's right there! <laughs> Hilarious. Fun fact. What's it? body holds between five and seven liters of blood. Oh, it's a camera. Bummer, I thought I'd turn the system off. All right. Clear. Keep going. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> That's where we were before. I think that's a maintenance room. See what I can stir up. Heck yeah, Judy. Show me what you got, girl. Okay, so I think maybe Judy's just staying here. Uh, so we shall move along and she will remain. Oops, okay, let's just stay out of sight, I guess. Where did you go? Are you happy with the autonomous shooting function? Please jump to confirm. Oh, I jumped. I thought he was going to say something. If I complied with his request to confirm. I see that there's a body on the table behind me. I'm just going to jack in really quick and see what we can get up to here. And then, I don't know, we'll just see what we can do here. 55, 55, or 87. Can I shut off their network? Turn off. I must have turned it back on or something at some point. Okay, let's scan. Gender, female, Got it implants out, removed. Implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Gross. Scabs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Okay, let's open this guy here. But not before I loot this purple thing. <laughs> Whenever there's a dead body around, um, like one of these implant victims, I always know there's some sort of cool purple item around. The truth about cyber psychos. I've had enough of these senseless shootings that claim hundreds of innocents every day. I'm sick of the satire on empty, deadened implant restriction dialogue. I'm tired of ignoring the cyber psychosis problem. In American society today, there are still a lot of common myths and misconceptions about the so-called technology-related personality disorders. People think they can become infected in sketchy ripper doc clinics. Scientists allegedly agree about these cases of the disease or even about whether it exists at all. 
Maybe their tune would change if a cyber psycho turned their lab into a slaughterhouse. But even then, I doubt it. They're not getting fat paychecks from the cyberware lobby just to openly declare to the public all those nasty possible side effects that come packaged with their products. I've conducted my own research on cyberpsychosis with supreme confidence. <laughs> All right, supreme confidence. That would be a good username. I can confirm this illness is indeed a byproduct of the modern lifestyle and the obsessive e emphasis placed on incorporating modern tech into our lives. Although cybernetic implants can directly affect our brain chemistry, they still serve only as a catalyst for the onset of the disease. Our world is subject to an extensive dehumanization. We surround ourselves with increasingly more automated machines and artificial intelligences. Our loved ones replace our nature given eyes and faces with the masks of metal. Some of us begin to lose sight of what is human. We slip into feelings of total annihilation and deep rooted panic. We lose the ability to distinguish between what is real and what is only artificial, digital, synthetic. Such people begin to isolate themselves, lose their empathy for others and undergo dramatic mood swings that exhibit sadistic tendencies. The most frightening component to all of this, however, is that most will never be diagnosed. Not all cyber psychos are known war veterans or former mercenaries equipped with Sandivisten reflex tech. <laughs> Oops, I don't know how to say that one. Not all will go out in a blaze of gunfire with Mac tech. Many cyber psychos in our world possess only a single implant, a knee, a liver. They are unseen, unnoticed. They lock themselves up and shut out their friends, colleagues, and loved ones. The world outside of the net and their delusions has disappeared from conscious thought. They are sick and alone, and no one is doing a thing about it. There is no eloquent summary to be made here. Let the value of this manifesto be measured by the fact that I was expelled from the Zeta Tech cybernetics research team for having written it. I haven't done a single cyberpsychosis mission yet. A uh, cyberpsycho mission yet. Rather. And I probably should. I've been scared of them. To oh! Okay, this is about Evelyn, so I want to read this too. Then we'll get back to the action. So, that girl that Dr. Fingers give us going to be useful for anything? That chick is a bad omen. That's all I'll say. We should get rid of her ASAP and forget scrolling any BDs with her because if word about her spreads, we're effed. Uh, what omen are you talking about? Next thing I'll find you staring into crystal balls. What are you? My reincarnated babushka? I don't believe you're shitting your pants just because of some comatose girl. What are you on? Hmm? You know what? Don't answer that. Whatever it is, just stop taking it before your brain damage gets even worse. Okay. Cause like, you can tell she's not from Jig Jig. More like clouds or even mocks. And for the record, I don't touch our supply and you know that. But there's this corpo. I sold him some of our shit. Apparently it made him aggressive. Smacked some joy toy across the face. He told me when it happened, he noticed the shadow of Lizzie on the wall. The girl who started the mocks. And guess what happened? A week later, he was dead. They found him in some back alley tied to a gutter, suffocated with a stocking. It's not like I was chooms with the guy, but still, that's no way to go. I don't know, it seems like he deserved it. Who cares if you go, if you're dead? Decapitated with a nail filer or shot in the spleen, it makes not one iota of a difference. Okay, now I feel like this isn't about her anymore. You fucking gone, get back to work. Don't you understand nobody cares about you? Whose memory will you be in? You would barely fill up any space on my deck and you and your omen. That was just kind of fun to say. Let's look at these. I'm like that. Huh? Shotki <gasps> Conchelis! <laughs> oh! Oh gosh, I didn't expect the unexpected! What? Where? Here. 
Oops. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, he heated he heated me up. Where is this guy? <gasps> okay, he's right here. Ah, there he is. Oh, I can't get to him though, I don't think. Ah! Can I snake him from here? Shit! Dropping has flies here! Okay, I can still see his foot, so I guess I'll fuck with him a little more. Oh, I should have got Skippy out if I'm just gonna shoot his legs. Okay, where was this other camera that was spotting us? Here. No, Oh, shit. Another person that they scavenged for parts. Maybe she's here already. Used him as a puppet in a virtue oh, that no. killed him. Then tore out his implants. Oh, that's grim. I do not like that. Oh. Honestly, automatic weapons like this feel like cheating. Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Freed up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. I know it's not. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one Who, sec me? for me. All right, I'm here. Let's find her. Hang in there, Ev. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. So there are like some masks. I see her. Cable two. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. Ew. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. Okay. What do you think? What do I do now? What we came here to do. Find the truth. Ask her. Johnny, she's unconscious. Or she's a better actor than we thought. What? Dude, what the f Oh my gosh, you're such a moron. Alright, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Okay. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? Is she alive? What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. I don't even know why, why why I would ask her this. Uh, who hired you to contact contract out the heist? She can't We're respond. Here, I got you. Um. Hey, Evelyn. I need you to tell me who hired you. Seriously, V. You gotta do this now. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Okay. I'm glad that Johnny doesn't have anything fucking dumb to say. Now we have Evelyn back. Thank goodness, I thought that she was dead. I'm smoking? Since when do you smoke? Oh, my thoughts exactly. They taste like shit and make my head spin. But once I start something, I don't quit. 
From one attic to another, I sympathize. We going in? Maybe I've always smoked. Filipino, you say, what do you mean, Johnny? You're the one who gave V the cravings. Okay, this is, yeah, that was unclear to me. If it's like something just that V has been hiding, like, is it Johnny that's having her do this? Or have I always been a smoker and I just tried not to and now that I'm dying, I want to pick up smoking again? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. I mean, we basically tried to do that. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. It's so disturbing that kids just walk around in this universe. Hey, guess what? I don't talk to strangers. I'm so glad that, like, you don't like kid killing or like kids being involved with this stuff is not a thing but it is like a subtle reminder that like yeah kids are victims too she's sleeping uh, at least i think she is her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore i would have already killed her by now if i didn't feel so bad for her How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. Did you? I did it for you. I just want you to know that. Oh, I thought... Uh, okay, I, I think I misunderstood what Judy's saying there. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. Oh, fuck she's completely it's out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <sighs> You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. Either. It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest? Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah, had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. Okay, show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Listen, Evelyn, I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything and do it soon, I'll die. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. You got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might? She doesn't. Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Well now, look at you. Maybe some other time. Have a seat. Uh, okay. 
All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. I feel what for What am I looking out for? Every She's been through single so much. piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait, Bori. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual, relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Here Take a look around if you want. Can't see her face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. I don't know if I recognize this. Symbol. Um. Okay, there's something else. Uh, maybe I'll back yeah. it up just a little bit. Oh, there's something at the beginning of the BD, too. Mm. Oh, out of range? Okay. There's all these crosses. We must be in a church. It kind of looks like one, anyway. Uh... I feel like I really don't see anything else. Oh, these, okay. Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search. Ah, Pacifica! <sighs> I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Okay, we can uh, watch the rest Every of the BD. I think we were like right here. That he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual, relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swiped the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Watch this one surprise me. Watch. How much you wanna bet? 
most everything surprises me. Yeah, I look heckin' suspicious right now. Si décide si spon critique ça me pense, à continuer fait travail ou. What language is she speaking? Don't know. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. I didn't I Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Okay. Let's Got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention you're an Obu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like Silverhand? <gasps> what? We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. It could Just be important. The auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Okay, and then uh, eat a fast forward. Uh, so she's saying I didn't get this. I didn't get it. Oh, listen. Okay, okay. Anything else? Oh, exit. All right. So we've collected everything, it seems. Let us close. Okay, Judy. We're good. All right. Disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. Say more. V, Say he's a fucking loser. Idea? Oh, dang it, I was really hoping that she would, like, insult him or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's say... Biochip we stole? It's... Got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Okay, does she believe us? I don't know. I wanted to tell her the truth, though. Know who they are? Who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Thanks for watching. If you had fun and want to see me again, consider subscribing or joining one of my other social medias like Twitch, Discord, or Twitter. Until next time, Choom.